Okay, update on the markets here on June 9th. It's about 10 p.m. So Thursday night candle is closed. We have the last candle of the week for on Friday. And very importantly, we have C the CPI number tomorrow on Friday morning, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. We also have the FOMC meeting on Wednesday, the minute, the you know, the announcement at 2 p.m. and then sort of the minutes and I think there may be a speech, uh, sort of press conference. So all that to say, very momentous days ahead for the market. But today, the way we close things out, mm, not a very good look. That said, everything depends on what happens with the CPI tomorrow at 830. Yet at the same time, this downside today suggests maybe this is telling you what the CPI is going to look like, which is to say it'll be higher than expected, which means the Fed needs to be more aggressive. And so we'll start with IWM. This is the daily chart. So we made our high on day 17. That was June 7th. So that was a high at 190.94. We consolidated that next day. And then today, Thursday, we broke to the downside. We actually, yeah, it was a gap down opening and we just flushed down lower. And so that was day 19. And so it, it, this is looking like the daily cycle high is day 17, which would mean we have a long decline to go, which means if you're inclined to short, this is we may be getting an opportunity here. But again, tomorrow, 8.30 p.m., 8.30 a.m. Eastern, that CPI number, the consumer price index to give a gauge, gauge of inflation. This could be a fake, fake breakdown. So that's and I'll discuss that as we go through these. So IWM, I, I've, I've been saying is the strongest. And so it's still holding as that. Right. So this is a weekly chart. We still haven't broken below the low from last week. Right. That would be below a 181.77. And so. We're still above that. We're still a couple of dollars above that, right? More or less. Now, this is the strongest of the three major indexes. <laughs> and you look at the monthly chart. So we still have a potential low on month 26. Does not look like it's going to hold. Again, as I've said in previous videos, I'm expecting, I was expecting the market to start a leg lower, but I still think it's possible we, we get a high as of like Wednesday for that FOMC meeting. Like you think the market still gets propped up into that meeting, but, but we'll see. Right now, everything is pointing towards the idea that we just topped. And so that's IWM, which is again, the strongest of the bunch. We'll move to SPX here. And so similar picture, but again, weaker. So we had our top on day 14 in this case. This is day 17. It was basically a double top, which is to say, in this case, you know, an even bearish, an even more bearish situation where it's a lower high, right? Zoom in, right? We made a high here and then we failed. Well, actually, I guess the lower high actually came on day 16, it would be. So this is day 19, big downside. And the, the presumption is we make a low below this daily cycle low and we continue the, the, the move lower. More importantly, my God, look at this weekly chart. I mean, avert your eyes if you don't want to see something ugly. Look at this thing. We've broken below the low of last week. I want to zoom in and make sure you can see that. This is the candle from last week, right? That's the candle from the week of May 31st, right? That low was 4073. 85 and this is the spx cash to be clear i'm going to show you the uh the futures because that's trading now but we broke below that 4073 level and we're now at 47 4017 40 for uh 4018 tomorrow where we open will all be based on where the cpi prints at 8 30 because the spx cash obviously doesn't trade after hours and so that'll be important, but the point here is that we've either got an incredibly bearish situation or we're going to get a massive reversal tomorrow into Monday that is going to lead to massive upside with a lot of people 
sort of doubting it. I suspect we're going to get the downside scenario versus the upside. Either way, a lot of money to be made. And so that's SPX. And if you look at the monthly chart, I mean, very similar look to the IWM. This thing looks like it's just going to roll. I'll, I'll zoom in. I'll like this is your monthly uh, candle. Bright red. Just looks like it's going to slide lower. And we're only on, you know, obviously June 9th. So we're going to get bounces along the way for sure. If you think about how the weekly cycle decline will uh, sort of proceed. So that's SPX. And then finally, QQQ. Same idea, just much, much weaker, right? So daily cycle, still you have your high on day 14. Now, if we zoom in, notice for SPX, we were able to come a little bit closer to that high. We got nowhere near that here, <laughs> nowhere near that. And then we just continue to roll over. This thing is going to make that low below that 280 level. We're at 299.44, 40 right now. So a, a, a good, down, good downside to catch. But again, there's going to be volatility along the way. That CPI print tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. And then that FOMC meeting next Wednesday. The time period between that unless you're like trading it sort of short term, that's going to be a little volatile for sure. And so generally, it seems like the market is confirming the move lower. And if you go on the weekly chart for the queues, I've been pointing this out. We actually topped on week two for this weekly cycle. That's incredibly bearish. The weekly cycle before that, we topped out on week seven. Notice the weekly cycles before that. So this one topped out on week 27 week 20, week 23, even the COVID crash topped out on week 20, right? So now we have a pattern of topping out really early, right? So we topped out on week seven here. And this week, we only made it to week two before topping out. And we're, we're rolling over into our next weekly cycle low. And so now it's a real question of, does this weekly cycle low represent the major low that we rock it out of or is that just a continuation of that downtrend right so if we just take a quick estimate in terms of the you know where we might look so if we were to go for let's say another let's say we had a 25 week cycle that would take us to September on the weekly cycle. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of downside. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. Obviously, things can bottom much earlier, especially if, I mean, look at this huge downdraft. Again, like think about that in this context as well. Huge downdraft. This was our lower high. You would expect a lower low now below this here. It's it's actually pretty, It's it's actually as simple as that. And it's the same idea for all the charts, really, right? If we go back to SPX, same idea. You have this long downdraft. We moved up. That's your that's your lower high, week 15. Now you're starting to roll over. IWM gives us the same picture. No different, right? So this is not as steep to decline. Notice that difference, right? Not as like those other ones were like falling off a cliff. This is a little bit less steep. But same kind of idea. So if you're inclined to short, this could be your move.